In this lesson I would like to walk you through the most important H panel settings. I understand that from the first glance it might look a little bit confusing because there's like a lot of settings available, but I will show you the most important ones and which you might use in the future. So let's start with the WordPress section, let's go to the dashboard. And right here probably one of the most important settings is force HTTPS. If it's inactive, you should activate it because this way we will force our website to load with secure connection with HTTPS. The next setting for Flush cache basically this setting controls the plugin this plugin which was already pre-installed to our WordPress uh, which controls cache settings basically this plugin helps our website to load faster and you can access all these settings in the WordPress panel later on I will show you how it's done and from here we can move on to plugin section also you will be able to access all plugins in your WordPress panel but it's very convenient to have this option right here because let's say in the future when you install a plugin or let's say you update plugins uh, suddenly your website doesn't load it starts to crash and you're getting error messages so probably that means that this issue was caused by a plugin which uh, doesn't uh, work with your WordPress version or there could be other reasons but by going right here in the plugin section you can easily deactivate that plugin and you can fix this issue so let's go back to dashboard in order section probably one of the most important settings would be upgrade so let's click on it so let's say once you start getting more and more traffic to your website or you have installed so many plugins that your website doesn't have enough resources to work properly from here you can easily upgrade your hosting you can choose a shared hosting plan or you can use cloud hosting plan of course if you want you can choose VPS but it's way more complicated than shared hosting plan or cloud hosting plans so from here once you click on uh, view plans you will be able to choose a more powerful plan so this way you will solve the problem of a slow loading website but when you are starting out you shouldn't face any issues so let's go back to dashboard and account section you can check your details you can change your password we can move on to email section so later on in another lesson I'll show you how to create your business email so right now we can skip this section in the main section by clicking this option you can add more websites to this hosting plan so let's click right here and as you can see by adding your domain name and selecting password you can add as many websites as you wish basically uh, when we were purchasing our hosting plan it said unlimited we can host unlimited number of websites so basically from here you can add as many websites as you want so for example added one website for demonstration so once you added a website you can switch between websites by going right here and choosing the domain name which you have added so as you can see I have WordPress course and I have this website Goku planet so let's go back to dashboard for example once you switch from one domain to other let's say I'm going to switch from WordPress course which is being displayed right here let's say I'm going to choose Goku planet so as you can see once I switch to other domain I'm doing changes to this domain so it's being displayed right here and if I would decide to install a WordPress I would be doing changes to only to this domain so let's go back to our WordPress course and let's see other settings so now you are familiar with domains and with the website section basically we can use it to install content management system like WordPress so once you go to auto installer you will see available content management systems which you can install to your website so as you can see right here uh, WordPress course has a WordPress and here are some other content management systems but since this course is all about WordPress I will be talking about WordPress but for example once you add a website once you add another website to your hosting uh, you can switch uh, this website right here as you as I mentioned you before by clicking to another domain and by using auto installer we can easily install WordPress to this domain so we would have to click on the WordPress and from here we will be able to install WordPress to our website but since we have already installed WordPress to WordPress course we can switch back to WordPress course and we can go back to the dashboard so let's scroll down so you are already familiar with this section so as I said probably one of the most important settings which you might use is auto installer and we can go to file section so basically you can use this section to access all your files you can access plugins themes media files or even WordPress files itself uh, you can do this in two ways by creating FTP account so you would have to use a, such program as FileZilla to access your files using FTP account or you can do the same by clicking right here once you click right here you would have to go to public HTML 
and right here you can see all of your files so basically these are all files which create your website so here you will find plugins themes wordpress files itself so basically you can download plugins you can upload you can delete them or you can basically delete all of your files and yeah this is how you can access your files so we can go back to the dashboard as well in file section you can do backups of of all your files and from here we can move on to databases so basically your website is created out of two sections the first section is going to be all your files and your website has a database where like all information all settings are being kept you can access such information as users data posts uh, comments and all other information which is basically a data of your website so by clicking on database you will be able to see your database which is being displayed right here by clicking here you can do a backup of your database and let's go back Back to dashboard and let's scroll down and you can access your database by clicking on PHP my admin and you would have to click enter my PHP admin and basically from here you will be able to access your data so I usually never use this option I have used it in the past to export all data when I was moving to other hostings so to do this you would have to download all your files and you would have to export your database so you could uh, move your website to other hosting but uh, when you are a beginner probably you will not use this option very soon but it's good to know where everything is so let's go back to the dashboard and uh, now you are a little bit familiar with files and databases so basically files are all files of your website it can be plugins themes media files or even wordpress files and all data is being stored in your database which can be accessed right here by clicking this section and you can export it or you can import it it's completely up to you so we can move on to advanced section and as you probably remember we used ssl section to install our ssl certificate and probably one of the more important settings is php configuration so by clicking right here you will be able to change your php version so if it's not set to the latest one i highly recommend you to choose the latest php version because it's a good practice to keep everything up to date and it will make your website load a little bit faster so since you are familiar with this information we can go back to dashboard and let's scroll down and let's see what other settings might be important and most likely in the section which is named other you will not be using any of these settings so i guess there's no point of talking about it so yeah these are the most important settings which you might use in the future and uh, i understand that from the first glance it might look a little bit confusing because there's like a lot of settings but uh, most likely you are going to use these settings which i already explained to you so yeah these are the most important hpanel settings